In this video I want to talk briefly about the evolution of this Mass Casualty Commission from its original iteration which was simply to be a review of the documents and recommendations made by commissioners into what is now a basically a full public inquiry with the resources that would uh, be commensurate with such a process. So early on uh, ministers uh, Mark Fury from Nova Scotia and Bill Blair, the federal uh, public uh, safety minister, both former RCMP officers, uh, which is of course a relevant factor here, uh, determined that there would be a, a very truncated review uh, done by um, two of the three commissioners who are still uh, commissioners, uh, Chief Justice MacDonald, uh, Ms. Fitch, and originally Anne McClellan, uh, now that's changed and it's going to be a full public inquiry with the uh, with the commissioners. So the question is who didn't want that original full airing of the facts and from what we can see it seems to be the RCMP that were driving that truncated version or pushing for that version of, uh, of events. Uh, perhaps government as well thinking of the expense of going through the process but you know, in the Desmond inquiry early on, both the federal and provincial governments resisted a call for an inquiry. Primarily, it was the federal government that resisted, and we know why now, because Veterans Affairs and the military had much to uh, conceal. Uh, they had, uh, you know, much of what we see now, and as we're going through the final stages of it, reveals that Veterans Affairs certainly, uh, you know, with their the bureaucratic nature of it were, uh, you know, maybe not keen to have uh, all of their doors unlocked and documents reviewed, but uh, in any way, in any event, that's what's happened. So here we have uh, the truncated version, which, uh, you know, the two former RCMP justice minister and, and public safety minister were pushing for. The family, the public pushed back on that, and now we're going to have a full airing as is publicly, as is deserved by the public. So uh, it'll be interesting to see, uh, you know, when when somebody doesn't want you to see information, well, that just makes it all the more compelling and, and motivates people to get in there and dig. So uh, that's what is happening now. Uh, the RCMP seem to be resisting this process. Uh, that sends a signal to me and to others that that's where, uh, that's where some of the key information and key revelations are going to lie. So we'll watch for that. Uh, that was an early sign, certainly, on their part, and uh, we'll, we'll see what that means as uh, time goes on.